Hi, my name is Kate. I'm a poet and a writer, and on this channel I do reactions to K-pop videos, specifically lyric reactions and breakdowns. We're doing fun Halloween-themed videos all this month. For some reason, my idea of trying to get in the Halloween spirit was to try on false eyelashes. I wanted to keep them- I didn't cut them, I wanted to keep them big so they'd like be obvious. We'll see how this goes. It might not do this again. <laughs> they are. There's something on your eyes if you've never worn false eyelashes before. I was gonna do more extreme makeup, but like that was a lot for me all of a sudden. So anyway, for today's video, the one I want to do is B2B. They have a video. This is- people recommended this and it is from when they were like baby children. This is old. When did this one come out? Well, this is from like, isn't that their debut year? Like 2013 or no, 2012 was their debut year. They're like infant children here. And I'm very excited. This is a thriller. I found a version that has the subtitles. So we're gonna watch that one. Quickly seen the video before, but I haven't looked at any of the lyrics. Their official video does not have the lyrics attached to it. Yeah, let's just see. Let's just see. I know it's so different. I know that they were like really trying to push them pop before they really came into their own as like a gorgeous vocal group, but baby B2B will be fun too. So let's do this one. Let's do Thriller and here we go. starting up. I've seen a couple of Vix's videos because I have a friend who really liked them and I just didn't get as into them early on. Uh, we're gonna be doing Vix for sure. This is very much like Vix aesthetic and not what I associate with B2B. So at first it's like, wait, did I choose the right video? But like, I know this is Ilhun, but ah! The whole look is so different. Wait, so Sanjay, Sanjay in 2013 would have been, he does 18? Is that right? Am I doing the math right? He was a baby. Look at him. Okay, let's see what the <laughs> So living in a dark swamp during the damp and cold nights. This is like, this, this song is very much set up for Halloween. <laughs> this place is filled with only gloomy spirits. The devil that caught you is sneering as it looked at me. I like the lyrics actually though. I'm not able to catch it. Oh, maybe Chung So. <laughs> Why does he just look so tiny? He looks very, very tiny in this video. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting too taken up with just like how tiny and cute they look. <laughs> They're mostly quite young. So I, I'm the same age as Young Kwang and Minhyuk. So in 2013, we were all 23. And they may not have turned 23 yet. So in Korean age, they'd have been 25. So everyone was younger than that then. They're all babies. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, back to the lyrics. <laughs> that's what we're supposed to be here for. So cute though. <laughs> Holding my breath as I listen for any sound of life. Fallen souls screaming. I like that this is like actually a Halloween song. Like this is very thriller. I'm not able to stop. I will say, when I just saw the title and people were like, oh B2B is thriller, I kind of thought they were going to just be doing a cover of the Michael Jackson song and that this is totally different. I really, I appreciate it. But it's still also Halloween themed. It's so good. My phobia of darkness tugging my heart. So they've got like a fear of the dark. This is a lonely 
swamp, like they're they're in this dark place, but they don't want to be in this dark place. However, the full moon influenced me on this night. Werewolves! My breathing stopped, suppressing my excitement. Look at that cute little child, oh my gosh. The full moon shines in the dark with me unconditionally. This is very much sounding like werewolves about to happen, isn't it? You cannot be taken away. Never, ever, ever. I like that they it is so different. They definitely started off as very much kind of they've got the aesthetic at least in this video like Vix had. Um, they're doing the dance routine which they kind of went away from it in in favor of their strength. I like seeing the difference in groups that live long and you get to see like in their baby stages when they're trying essentially to be like what everything else is in the industry. You're trying to fit into what everyone else is fitting into because you want to get your foot in the door. And then as they grow and change and, you know, gain fans, gain just the ability to do what they want, basically, and also to show their strengths and sometimes just to learn their strengths. You don't always know what they're good at when they first start out because some of them are infant children, okay? Some of them are so young. Sung Jae in this video is a baby. <laughs> they all look like babies, though. They're so little. Now everyone's in their 30s. Or at least the oldest members are. But it's so fun to see, like, that progression, like, like where where they found their strengths and then all of a sudden like really come into their own but then you see like where they came from and you're like that that was very much what people were doing at that time it wasn't your strength but it's super cute to see it the night seems to be bursting with shivers oh, don't you love that bursting with shivers and it could be there's just this translation person is very good with poetry because the bursting with shivers is just absolutely lovely together uh, but hopefully that is an accurate translation as well because that is really nice. This moment when the breathing stops tonight. That's right, I'm enjoying it like this, the thriller. Am I the only one who really feels like Yoon Kwang and Il Hoon look like really similar, like not the same, but just really similar, like really similar face shapes. Ah, uh, but anyway, he finally showed, he's, his voice, doing like the pop for his voice, his voice can do so much. He's got like the opera voice. So hearing him like, and it's earlier on in his career too, but like holding back kind of was like, ah, you're not using him to his full potential yet. Poor baby. Time for madness. This night is hot. Stuff is going down tonight. Like a dream, fly away, fly high, high. I'm still feeling it, you and I, thriller. Just a little bit sexy, huh? <laughs> Please, can we bring back the heavy eyeliner on all of the boys? There was like a moment in K-pop in there, like around 2013 when like heavy eyeliner was in and everyone was wearing it. What a great time. What a great time in history. Please, let's bring it back. The, the heavy, heavy eyeliner. I love it. I love it to death. It looks good on everybody. I'm not taking notes on that. <laughs> I took a bite of the poison apple. It was very snow white and asked for the girl who was dying to jump and run. Why are there, why are there unknown laughter in the dark forest giggling? Although dying is fine, the girl's eyes open and greeted the morning sunlight. It's almost like a necromancer situation that he's talking about, isn't it? Like, she was dying, but then somehow being brought back to life in the morning sunlight. A night only for you. It doesn't matter if I become Don Quixote, I'll save you. And Don Quixote, of course, known for <laughs> attacking the windmills. So, finding something that's not even there. Uh, going a little bit crazy. So it's not like a good thing to become Don Quixote, but he says, even if I go crazy then, I'll still try and save you. He's biting the apple for her then. Is it almost like a Romeo and Juliet kind of situation then? I'm not totally sure the exact scenario that's going on here, but he is telling a story about something happening in this sequence.
Peniel gets to come in for a second in here. So the cold air caused my heart to stop. However, the full moon influenced us on this night. There's some kind of thing happening in the woods. Maybe a little werewolfy, maybe a little bit sexy. Not totally sure, but something bad went down in the forest here tonight. Tonight's atmosphere is hazy. I enjoy the thrill. It's crazy. Definitely something is happening out there. You cannot be taken away. Never, ever. The night seems to be bursting with shivers. Something's happening on this Halloween thriller night and they're trying to protect this person that they love. Oh, his rap is so fast. Whoo! It is busted through that. Okay, so yeah, the, the chorus bit again. And then, even the moon and the stars in the sky, the souls on land, ghosts. Everyone's breath gets killed in this space. Something is wrong with the place then. Something's going on here. I'm dominating the rising night. It looks so tiny. <laughs> Lights from the aurora colored like watercolors as it sucked in the audiences. People watching, the aurora in the night sky, the wind and rain crying through the night, painting a different kind of picture, something. A small insane smile reflected in the pond. Don't worry my princess, the main character today is me. Which maybe it would normally be like very heroic sounding, but a little bit ominous in this kind of setting here. Okay, wait, 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 so what's he rapping here at the end? Time of madness. I knocked on the door. Burning heart. I'm the last high becoming one with the night. I'm still feeling it, you and I, thriller. Yeah. As if there would definitely not be a sad ending. A lot of ominous moments going on in this song. The thriller is unstoppable. Oh, I love it. Oh, so aesthetically phenomenally Halloween-y. Uh, the the storyline was a little bit confusing because it seemed like there were different pieces. It seemed like we were almost doing like different types of thriller haunted dark scenarios. Like there was definitely kind of a a love story going on a little bit but it was almost a little bit more possessive in some places. Like something was going wrong, some kind of magic or supernatural was going on. Uh, maybe necromancy, maybe werewolves, I wasn't totally sure. It was very a little bit just like generalized Halloweeniness, which it was very very fun. They looked so cute. It was very much kind of that 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 aesthetic that a lot of people were doing at that time. It, it felt a little like like Vix. Vix very much did this style and I'll definitely be doing I think I'm gonna be doing them next week. I'm gonna do oh I'll have to decide which one. I think it, there's two that are like very Halloween um, so I'll do one of theirs but yeah, let me know what you think of B2B and their baby days. They're so cute. I love them so much. I definitely, I if I had to choose, if I could only have one B2B, obviously I would choose the amazing vocal group that they have become and their later work that's just like straight into your heart. But it is cute to see them like that. It just, if I didn't recognize members and you showed me this, I would have no idea. I would never be able to choose who the group was. If kind of like, you know, face blindness 
I'd never suspect it was them. It barely sounded like their voices because they were going for such a pop sound at the time. Um, and because their voices have obviously matured since then also. But yeah, it doesn't sound like anything else I've heard from them so far. And I do like their, their more just showing off their gorgeous voices later. More! But this was so much fun. So great for Halloween. Such a fun song. Uh, the heavy eyeliner, seriously, on everyone amazing their little baby faces loved it so cute the dancing actually they're they're pretty good at dancing they don't really do it much anymore because they just don't need to and because it's hard to sing and dance at the same time you lose something from one of the two like it's so hard and so few people can master singing and dancing at the same time that if you're gonna focus on one and be amazing at one you might as well do that uh, the dancing though they're pretty good they're not bad at all at dancing. They could totally have been a dancing group, but I, I guess from my perspective at this time, like, yeah, they a little bit like Vix, like they, they could almost be anybody, but later on you're like, that's B2B. And I think that's, again, when a group like finds their own, I love that. Do let me know. Let me know, Did were they writing their own music at this time? Was, uh, was this one that um, Hyunsik wrote? Or is this one that was like given to them to, to perform? because uh, they were so young at the time. Maybe they weren't writing their own music yet. So I'd love to know. And yeah, let me know what you think of the halloween -y songs that we're doing this month. And I'm gonna be doing more. I'm gonna be, be filming some more before I take these eyelashes off because I don't know if I'm gonna wear them again, but I wanna finish a couple of videos with them first, so. All right, I will talk to you again soon. I post videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays all month. And keep an eye out for more Halloween-related content. Okay, bye.